They were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed. Watch this. This is eternal. That they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. This world was in their home. And I'm going to stop because I'm going to get back to that. But let me flow in the spirit for a second. You see? You see, last Sunday while we was in church, amen, Kobe Bryant was in a helicopter crash. You see? 41 years old. Him and his 13-year-old daughter died. I got some pictures, sound boot, if y'all can. And let me tell you something. When it happened, it shook the world. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it shook me, you know? And a lot of people was weeping and crying, and, and they was taking it hard, man. And for a moment, Corby's passing reminded the world of mortality. Of mortality. And Tyrone, they won't get me to preach his funeral, but if I had to preach Corby's funeral, I might entitle that, the, the, that might be the title, if I had to preach Corby's funeral. You see, this is, this is a golden ticket right here. Because it touched the hearts of every man, every woman, every child, that, that some of them don't even like basketball, and they, oh, God, Kobe. You see? And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. It's a young man. In good shape. At least. You see? Got money. Got fame. Even asked the basketball, became a, a tremendous investor and entrepreneur. You see? But when we woke up that Sunday morning, everything had changed. We saw somebody who appeared to have it all, y'all. I'm talking about the NBA titles, Tyrone. And he was gone. Like, And all the other athletes took it. I'm devastated, they were saying. I, I'm, I'm shook. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say. I don't have no words. You know why they don't have no words? Because sometimes humans forget their mortality. We forget that we subject to death, that we only hit temporary, that this world is not our home, that we only strangers and we only pilgrims and we only passing through and sometimes we can get too comfortable. If I had to preach COVID funeral, that's what I would talk about. Anybody hear me up in here? I'm... It would be such an opportunity to wake the people of Yah. Because all of them got their attention. All of them thinking about, Lord, if that happened to me. And my question is, amen, if Kobe can go like this, so can you. And my question to you is, would you die in faith? Would you die in faith? Would you die in faith? Because these all done died in faith. Would you die in faith? And I'm not here to judge Kobe. I don't know his personal walk with the Lord. And that's not my concern tonight. My concern is your walk with the Lord. And if you would die in faith. I don't have time, but there's video out there. We maybe might, we'll see if we have time, but don't cue it right now. But there's video out there of, of Kobe confessing of faith. Of going through struggle and talking about the cross. You see what I'm saying? Of him, amen, uh, uh, he had left church that morning right before the accident. Now, it wasn't the church of my choice, but you can still get saved in a place that's not ideal if the Lord put his hand on you is what I'm saying. Come on, come on, play the clip now. Play the clip, play the clip. We're going to just play the clip. But what did you learn from that whole experience? Just having to go through what you went through. God is great. God is great. Is it that simple? God is great. Don't get no simpler than that, bro. 
Did you know that? I mean, I'm, I'm, everybody knows that, but the way you know it now, did you know it before that incident took place? You can know it all you want, but until you got to pick up that cross that you can't carry, and he picks it up for you and carries you and the cross, then you know. Then you know, babe. I'm going to give God some glory. See, Colbert went through a tough time. And sometimes, amen, you could have it all and still need God. And Kobe said, hey, amen, you know, you know, you could know about him and his cross. He said, but when you go through and he pick up that cross and he carry you and the cross to get you through. Kobe said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now, you know. But but you see, Kobe, amen, is already with the Lord. But we got some here and some that's listening and that's not. And the question for you is, if life is brief like this, if life is fragile like this, if one moment you could be here and the next, you listen, oh, God, he just said went to church that morning. Would you die in faith? In faith in Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Hebrews, these things don't happen in our community for nothing. This is a wake-up call. If I had to preach Kobe's funeral, listen, I would tell our people, look, a great man has passed. A prince in Israel has gone on according to 2 Samuel 3 and 38. We've lost a prince here. If they lose their lives. We are subject to the same loss of life. Would you be ready if your day came? Would you be ready if your night was tonight? Have you made peace with your maker? Have you come back to Yahshua? Have you called on Jesus? I'm about to go to another point, but listen. Here it is. God don't need your good works. He don't need your good looks. And he don't need your money. All he needs for you to do is admit that you were a sinner. And believe that he loves you. And he died for your sins on the cross of Calvary. And after you believe that he died, he was buried, and he rose again, you confess that he's your Lord. And you call upon him in the time in which he may be found. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart in the day of provocation, because you don't know if you're going to hear his voice again. Call upon him. Call upon him. It's easy. You just say, Lord, save me a sinner and forgive me of all my sins. And the Bible says, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I don't know who's going to preach Kobe's funeral. I don't know what kind of church it's going to be in. But that would be the way I preach this funeral in Jesus' name. Come on, give y'all some glory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People of Yah, Israel. Come back to your God. And time is running short. You see?